Here we have this radical expression, x divided by 5 minus root x. We want to simplify this radical expression. Well, what does that mean? It seems like it's already simplified enough. We're going to put it in a form that might look less simple, but actually it's not allowed to be written like this. We need to make it a little bit different because you can't have a square root in the denominator. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to have to start by expanding something. We need to get rid of this square root in the denominator. To do that, what we need to do is multiply by the conjugate of this. What does that mean? Well, we can't change the expression, so we can only multiply by 1. So to multiply by 1 by, and actually having some sort of change, what we need to do is have the same thing in the denom denominator and numerator. So we're going to multiply by 1. What is that one going to be? Well, like I said, the conjugate of this. What is the conjugate of that? Same thing, but with a plus here instead of a minus. So 5 plus root x. This is the conjugate of this. So we need to say the same thing here because we don't want to break any rules or any laws mathematically there. Great. Let's multiply this out, and then we'll get rid of this uh, square root on the bottom and simplify it as much as we can. So now we have x times 5 plus root x. Great. And when we multiply a conjugate, the reason we do that is because things are going to disappear. So we have first, so 5 times 5 is 25. Then we have last negative root x uh, plus root x gives us negative x. So negative root x times root x gives us the root x's uh, two powers of 1 half gives us 1. Then we have negative 5 root x and plus 5 root x. Great. So we do have some uh, square roots in the bottom, but they're the same value of opposite signs, so these are going to cancel each other, which works well. So then we just have, uh, we can expand this a little bit through with the x here. So we have 5x uh, plus x times root x all over 25 minus x. So perhaps it doesn't look more simple than this original, but we now have a, the radical or the uh, square root of x in the numerator. So it's written in a, a form that we're allowed to write in. So we're done here, as simple as possible, and that's it.